it's a beautiful day so that means i'm gonna go for a hike i'm gonna be doing the anvil trail it's about um half an hour or so from here so i'm excited to do it um i don't know anyone who's done it yet so i'll be the first one to try it out and i'll see you there So I just made it to the trailhead, um, so I'm about to go hike, but first I really need to pee. Alright, so we're at the trailhead, um, it's about, well, according to the sign it says it's going to take about an hour and a half to two hours. I usually walk a little bit faster, so I'm going to hit the hour and a half mark. So here we go. I usually go hiking with the dogs, but I don't have the dogs with me today, so I'm kind of a little bit scared because there are bears here on the island. But I've attached a bell with me. Hopefully it doesn't annoy me. I'm so annoyed with this bell. But at least it, you know, signifies that I am here. Fingers crossed. Here we go. Roadblock here. I'm assuming that's the trail. <sighs> Wait, maybe I didn't go the right direction. <sighs> no. So I think I just need to step over these trees. I don't want to go too far in case that's not it, but I don't see any other markings and it looks pretty blocked off. Ah, oh, crap. So I just tried going through that way. It's, there's so much debris, it's impossible to get by. So I think I'm just gonna go back into the smaller loop because there's no way I can go through that. And I don't want to go too far in case it's actually not it and I can't get up. Better safe than sorry. Okay, so the trail markers are a little bit confusing. So I basically went back to where there's the orange one that does the entire loop or there's a blue trail that kind of cuts through. So I'm gonna try going, going through the, the blue trail because I do see some orange stickers there. So I'm kind of confused about that, but I have all trails with me. I'm not saying that I know where I'm going, but I'm just gonna take it easy. And if I can't figure it out, then I'm just gonna head back because I don't wanna get lost. Okay, so I just got here. It's kind of like an intersection, if you will. <sighs> it's kind of a little map. And it says, you're standing out of places where hikers can easily have their sense of directors fooled. Okay. <sighs> Not gonna lie, this is kind of stressful. So I'm thinking if I hike that way, go to the log jam, come back, it'll take me back here, and I'll just go the other way. Whew. All right, wish me luck. Okay, let's go check out the log jam. No idea what the log jam is. Assuming it's a whole bunch of logs that have been jammed. I found out what the log jam is according to this. Uh, so the jam before you is quite old and won't be going away anytime soon. It's about 250 meters long. It's supposed, it's supposed that intense forest fire in 1840s is a major factor in the formation of the jam. The fire killed most of the trees in this area. When they fell into the river, they were retained by the torturous bends in the channel. Along the route, watch for charring on trees. Also take note of the many remnant old trees that survived the Great Fire. So this way? I guess don't go this way.
So I can see on my um, All Trails map that I just passed the log jam. Um, now it's bringing me back up to the loop of the Orange Trail, but I'm kind of scared it's gonna connect to where that um, debris was and I'm not able to get through. So I'm just gonna go to the tip of where the river is and then I'm gonna wait, make my way back so I don't get lost. So I can hear like a lawnmower or something. So I'm definitely close to civilization. But I'll see how far I can go. And I'll turn back. So I found the tip of the, or the tip. <laughs> I found the top of the river. And it's so nice. And every time I look back that way, I keep thinking that things, that rock is a bear, but it's not. So, I'm gonna go back to the trail where I came from and start making my way back. Oh, look, char. Oh, little mushrooms here. I don't want to touch them just in case. Like, it's huge. So annoyed with this bell. Ding, 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 ding. <laughs> the sun just came out and it's just shining everywhere. It. So overall, good hike and definitely recommend. It is easy to take a wrong turn. I know I just took a couple of wrong turns a few times and I'm like, I don't remember stepping over this log. So I just basically retraced my steps and I was able to go back to the um, main trail. It's about 2.30 right now and I think I'm just going to go to the beach, hang out, eat an apple and call it a day.